Hi everyone, Lua here with a new tutorial from Kamala Tech. Today we'll be covering three ways to archive your Confluence server and data center content, from the very simple to the advanced. No one likes a messy document repository. One good practice for keeping it clean is to regularly archive obsolete pages. Within Confluence, you can archive entire spaces, but if you want to archive individual pages, Atlassian suggests you create a parent archived page in a space, apply restrictions, and then move your content under it as child pages. Any child pages will inherit the restrictions, so only select users can view or edit your archived pages. So that might be a good system for you, but let's look at a few ways we can improve the archiving process. One very simple way to show that a page is archived or obsolete is just to add a label. This might be enough for some use cases, or you can use it as just one step in your archiving process. If you want to add the archive label to several pages at once, our app Kamala List is a great fit, and you can click on the link above to watch a tutorial that shows you how to set this up. Another method of adding labels is using our app Kamala Document Management, which lets you automatically apply labels as part of a workflow. That brings us to the next archiving method, expiries. Let's say you want a page to be archived after a certain date. With Kamala Document Management, you can set an expiry or due date for a page and choose what happens when that date passes. You can require another review, send the page to an archive state, or automatically add your archive label. We have an entire video on expiries, so click the link in the corner to check that one out. Finally, the most advanced way to archive content is with scripts. One example is the free PowerScripts app that can actually work together with Kamala Document Management. Configure your workflow with an archive state, and when the approval process for a page hits that specific state, the script will automatically move the page to an archive space. You can combine one or more of these methods together in all sorts of ways to create the archiving system that matches your needs. If you need a hand setting up your system, you can always reach out to our support team and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.